Well, hey, y'all, it's Bobby Dean here. I'm kind of filling in for my mom, and that's appropriate because today I'm doing a recipe from Dean Brothers Recipes from the Road Cookbook. That is a great cookbook. It's about, I don't know, 15 years old or more. Um, Jamie and I had a show called Road Tasted where we traveled all over the country and met all kinds of great people and visited all kinds of just super fantastic businesses. And uh, all the recipes from that book are inspired from our travels. And today we are going to make an upside down pear gingerbread. Uh, fill in the blank. Is it a cake? Is it a cobbler? I'm not exactly sure which. You be the judge. But let's get started. What I can tell you is that it's super simple, like so many of our recipes. Um, so easy to make. So let's get started. I've got a uh, little Pyrex casserole dish. And I'm going to begin by spreading butter all over. My mom's got some softened, she, my mom keeps a butter bell on her counter and I love them so much. And it's a great way to keep your butter nice and soft. So what we're gonna do is spread with an offset spatula, which I also love. This one's a little flimsy, but that's okay. We're gonna win. So I've spread the butter all over the casserole dish and I tried to cover every inch of it, even up the sides. And that's because when that butter melts in the oven, oh boy, it's all gonna run right down into our upside down pear gingerbread, cake, cobbler, whatever you would like to call it. Uh, the next step in the recipe is brown sugar. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over the bottom. Can you believe, I certainly can't, that it is Christmas 2023. This year, as did last year, as did the year before, is just flying by. So gingerbread all over the place. Ginger, 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 or excuse me, brown sugar. I'm thinking gingerbread because I'm getting ahead of myself. Brown sugar all over the bottom. To that, I'm gonna add a layer of pears. Man, I really, really like pears. How about you? This time of year, I'm finding that the older I get, the more traditional I become. Like I'm already listening to Christmas music, <laughs> getting teary-eyed. <laughs> okay, so uh, cake mix, boxed cake mix. This is gingerbread cake and cookie mix. It's, um, you know, this is seasonal, so you probably won't find this on your shelves except for uh, at this time of year. So I'm gonna uh, just make it by the directions, which is an egg and a little bit of water, and I'll mix this up. And while I do, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. I've got our gingerbread um, cake mix all mixed up. And now from there, I'm very simply going to pour it into the pan. And remember, first thing we did was we rubbed um, butter all over and around the edges of this pan. Then I sprinkled some brown sugar into the bottom of the pan, added some uh, pears to it, and then one box of gingerbread cake mix. And this already smells like Christmas. Oh my gosh, man, I don't know about you, but I love gingerbread and I love, um, cinnamon and all these wonderful uh, spices and flavors that come at this time of year. Now look how simple that was. It took me about two minutes to put this together. I've got an oven going at 350. We're gonna pop it in and we'll check it in about 15 or 20 minutes. So we'll take a break and come right. Wow. That looks so good and it smells even better. I wish, I wish that you could smell this. Okay. So we're gonna put it on a cooling rack for a few minutes. I've already done the toothpick test on it and the toothpick came out clean. So now we're just gonna let it sit here and cool. So we'll come back in a few minutes and I'll see you then. Beautiful, our pear gingerbread. I don't know if it's a cake. I see. You say cake? Yeah, okay. it looks like a cake. It does look like a cake. We used a cake mix. So I'm running a butter knife around the edges in hopes that we don't have a, uh, catastrophe here when I turn this over and plop it out because this is an upside down cake. So here we go. Ready? Yum. Clean and beautiful. Goodness gracious. Look at that. Oh, you should see the faces in here right now going. 
and the butter did its job and look it's just pooling just a little bit inside those pears and the steam the smell of that gingerbread is so wonderful and the butter oh, Merry Christmas everybody looks great so make this at home I promise it's great hey y'all it's Paula Dean now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.